We are live at Comic-Con. We are in downtown Phoenix at the uh, convention center. Anybody who's driven around downtown Phoenix in the last 24 hours has probably been going, what the hell did I just see? Oh, sure. Aww. Was that right. Princess Leia standing on a street corner? <laughs> yes, it was. Why does that thing have ears? You know, uh, uh, why does everybody have a lightsaber? Or as I like to say, why doesn't everyone have a lightsaber? Even a better question. But it is Comic-Con. It is a uh, um, started life as a comic convention, hence the term Comic-Con. Oh, comic -Con. I see what they did But there. it has, it has morphed into something much bigger, uh, uh, kind of a pop culture festival, mm -hmm. if, you, if you think about it. But joining us right now is somebody who gets to the root of what this is about. He is a, uh, a an artist. He actually does comics, uh, writes and illustrates them, uh, and he does them right here in Arizona. Joining us is Russ Kazmierzak. And Russ, it is great to have you here with us today. Thanks, Bruce. It's great to be here. So this is this is Comic-Con. We're learning it. This is it. Yep. You are in the uh, the heart of Arizona's <laughs> geek culture this right now. This is it right now. Yep. Now, you say geek culture, and I, and I get that, because I think probably th there was probably a time and you've been coming to these for a while. I've been doing this a long time. I guess, yeah. That it really used to be the 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 only the nerds. Right. It, you, um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm going to be kind. You know what I'm saying? No, it I appreciate it. Even among our own kind, we would protect our uh, our lunch <laughs> money a little bit. Look at one another. <laughs> but. I mean, you look at it now, and it is everyone. It's, uh, it's mainstream. Yes. Um, and it's because the stories uh, have a have a universal appeal. Yeah. Uh, you know, as, as comics are adapted into feature-length films and... Uh, I mean, just think about, uh, you know, whether it's Spider-Man, Batman, whether it's the Avengers, whether it's Iron Man. Right. You know, this is, this is the root of where they yeah. all came from. You knew them as a kid, and now that you're an adult and they're in a, you know, in a movie theater, you can take your own kids, you can yeah. experience them in a different way, uh, live action. And it's, yeah, it's cool. But so, you, you even see other things. I mean, you know, whether it's Game of Thrones or, or The Hobbit or, you know, all right. the other, some of these, you know, Avatar. But yeah. you have people in costume and or you have uh, uh, vendors and you have the uh, the authors, the artists themselves oh, yeah. from some of these biggest things. Uh, the, the creative True Blood is here. The oh, writer of, yeah. of uh, H.Y.S. True Blood. Yeah, that. she's here. Absolutely. They have a ton of authors here. These people have actually written a lot of what you may be watching on television or in the movies. Absolutely. So you get to talk to people that have created things you've loved your whole life or that you're just getting into, and it gives you a peek behind the curtain, uh, but at the same time, a deeper appreciation for their work. So. What brought you to comics? So you actually have your own. They're called Amazing Arizona Comics, and, and, and are you more of the illustrator side or more of the storytelling side? Well, I do both for that comic. I'm right. the writer and the illustrator. Um, I've always liked comics. Uh, but I became a collector when my dad worked for Mesa Moving right here in the valley. I don't think it's around anymore, but uh, some somebody was going to throw away a box of comics, <gasps> and he got to take them home. Perish the thought. Absolutely. <laughs> it was a box of like 50 comics, yeah. and uh, I read them all probably within a few days. And said, and, this is it. Yeah, I'm in. I'm I all in. I found it. Let me start drawing them, too, and I'm really? just all in. Yeah, so. And you've been doing this for a while now. Yeah, I've been drawing them uh, my whole life, but I just recently started publishing this series about uh, superheroes in Phoenix because I think we could we could use them. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, I got to get, 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 get an argument. And, and the cool part about this, it's amazing Arizona comics, and the cool part about it is you take a, a, a top of, like we do, like we do here. We yep. take something in the headlines. We take something that's going on here in Arizona, and, yep. uh, and, and we discuss it. You get to actually make a comic about it, uh, not necessarily poking fun, more explaining as well in some cases. Yeah, I use some um, some of Arizona's unique history, but um, also some of the weird current events uh, that you guys discuss daily, yeah. and I put them in a context of a world with superheroes. So how would superheroes yeah. react to this stuff? So it helps me pay attention to the world around me and filter it through... Uh, a storytelling technique that I've, I've always loved. So. What's been your most popular edition? Um, the first issue actually features a character named Speed Cameron. He's a living Speed Camera. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> nice. Back that in uh, 2010 yep. when uh, we took the Speed Cameras off the streets, uh, he walked into Sheriff Joe's office and said, well, now what am I supposed to do? That right. was my crime-fighting niche. Now what? Yeah. And uh, Sheriff Joe sent him on an immigration raid. So, oh, okay. Well, there uh, you have it. You know, what would a superhero do, what would you do when you're in that kind of moral <laughs> dilemma or that position? Can I tell you that I feel a certain measure of pressure, maybe a little bit what you do when you're coming up with these, because we're sitting here at Comic-Con, right. and, and we are we are dressed up. You're, you're dressed as a, a comic illustrator and writer. That's right. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you're you very much. Right out of Central Casting. <laughs> and uh, uh, Mike is... Uh, uh, the Heath Ledger 
version of the Joker. Right. I'll make it look better. Complete with scars. Like hours worth of uh, makeup. Yes, yeah, an hours worth of makeup. Uh, yeah. Can you guys make sure there aren't any pencils on the there table? Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Pamela uh, is uh, is Batwoman. You call her Batgirl, and you're going to get a wing to the face. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So careful with that. And I'm Speed Racer. You would think that between the Joker, Batwoman, and Speed Racer, we could solve some of the problems we've been like talking it. about. You would think we could. I feel a certain odd amount of pressure. Right. Like we should be able to figure this out, for goodness <laughs> sakes. <laughs> That's what I've always you know? thought. You know, in a world with superheroes, the... the the black, you know, the issues that are so gray, uh, they would have some quick solutions. For yes, there is obviously some escapism, not that only that goes into into the comic world, but but to these conventions as well. And, oh, and, yeah. and you and you certainly see this played out. I I find it difficult to describe what I'm seeing, not not because I don't notice it, because there's just so much of it, and it's so varied. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a patchwork of, like I said, everything we love, just kids and stuff that is being added to geek culture and, and pop culture. Yeah, it's amazing. You say geek culture, and I'm going to be. I'm, this isn't me trying to. Do it. I think geek culture has become pop culture. It is. You know, yeah. I mean, maybe there was a time when something like Game of Thrones would have been some little niche, this, that, and the other. And now it's one of the most popular shows uh, on television. Oh yeah. It, you know, the, the actors are becoming huge stars unto themselves. Yeah, people signing up for HBO just so they can watch it. Sure. You, you know what I'm saying? That that it's crossed the the Rubicon, if you will, and geek is cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't use the term disparagingly. <laughs> I mean, I've always called myself a geek, and I've always just find a geek as somebody that just still likes what they liked as a kid. I just never stopped liking superheroes. So you could have like a sports geek, mm -hmm. you know, um, there are certainly science geeks and stuff like that, or a political geek, somebody that's into political science and politics and stuff. So it's just an like enthusiast, that. basically. Okay, I like, I like that. that. Yeah. And I like that definition. Yeah. I think that's an, that's an accurate one. A amazing Arizona Comics. Where, where, is the, where is the place for people that are into this? The people go, you know what, Russ? That sounds like a pretty clever idea, taking local politics, taking local issues, putting it in the, the comic world. That, that blends some things I want. Where do they find your stuff? Uh, I'm on the convention floor um, in aisle 800. Basically, I'm between the aisle 800 and 400 banners. So okay. if you're walking on the convention floor and you see those signs hanging from the ceiling, That's I'm, you. I'm in between them. You're yep. right in there. Yep. And you got a website, anything like that? Can I do. It's a, it's a blog, karaokefanboypress.blogspot.com. Wow. There you yeah. go. Well, it's a mouthful. Okay, it is a mouthful. <laughs> We're going to work on you on, 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 I appreciate on narrowing that yeah. down for you a little bit. <laughs> Russ, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck, Thanks, and, and it's an awesome comic. It was it's nice meeting you, and I appreciate the work you do. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, enjoy the rest of Comic-Con, for I goodness will. sakes. Right over there, where aisle 800 and 400 meet. It's like the old... Uh, <laughs> well, 10 and 210. Yeah, Raging waters. <laughs> 10 and the 210 meet. Russ uh, uh, Kazmierzak uh, joining us, uh, an artist, uh, illustrator, writer of comics. We are live at Comic-Con.